it's time to finish your wall sections in AutoCAD. Alright, last week we started this video or part 1 on how to draw wall sections in AutoCAD, sharing of course my tips and tricks. So today let's finish this with this part 2. So I introduced you this useful website called... Um, so I introduced you this useful website that has some useful details that we can reuse instead of starting from scratch and waste and wasting time so right now at this point i was looking to find a connection between the storefront and the wall itself so i can reuse it so i found this this detail and i downloaded it for my use so after I downloaded this detail last week I showed you how we can convert a PDF to a cut drawing inside AutoCAD so we can reuse any detail from this website now there is another way to do this that I think it's even quicker and let me show you this trick so for this example I'm gonna use this window head detail or connections and first I'm gonna download the 3d PDF version for my reference but after this we're gonna use a program called SketchUp and basically there is a free and a paid version of SketchUp but for this one you can get the pro version um, for 30 days as a trial for free and actually that's what I have so once you select this 3D view again this is a SketchUp program you can orbit using your middle mouse wheel like so and you know kind of to see around and look at some of these detailed connections and objects so but basically here at this point you could try to orbit and find a 2d view and maybe take a screenshot and bring it to AutoCAD and trace over it. however we're not gonna do that because there is a better way to do it a faster way a more efficient and I'm gonna show you the trick to do it again this is a SketchUp and for in order in order to make the trick work we're gonna use the pro version of SketchUp or the paid one but again you can get the free trial for 30 days again here I was trying to show you that we can take a screenshot of this 2d version and you know trace over in AutoCAD but I'm gonna cancel that because there is a more efficient way to do it so the way to do it is download this model I'm gonna download the 2021 version and then I'm gonna open it so since I have the SketchUp Pro version again the trial the free trial that I got online you can simply google it SketchUp free trial and here we go you can see on the top of my SketchUp that I have eight days left on my trial anyway here it's very simple you're gonna simply change the view using these icons over here so the view that I want is this one and from this the second step is we need to change the view uh, into a parallel projection because as you can see right now it's 
kind of a perspective view and we don't want that we want a perfect 2d uh, view so in order to do that we're gonna go to camera and go to parallel projection once you click that you will notice that you will look nice and straight into a 2d view so that's the step two very simple right simply two clicks for the third step we're gonna click this option and that's pretty much it now how can we bring this into AutoCAD right so in order to do that let's do the final step which is go to file and then export and 2d graphic once we select this option in SketchUp we're gonna change the options to we can pick AutoCAD DWG or DXF file but in this particular case I'm gonna pick DXF why because usually if you pick regular DWG when you open it it will give you a message of this drawing was not made with AutoCAD or something like that so to avoid that I'm gonna use this AutoCAD DXF file and you'll see why so once I clicked export I can simply close this or minimize it and here we are back in AutoCAD so at this point I'm gonna open the DXF file that we just exported it from SketchUp and I'm gonna pick AutoCAD as you can see there wasn't any message or pop-out or window saying that this drawing wasn't um, wasn't built in AutoCAD so as you can see everything is looking awesome and our single lines so at this point what so as you can see this is in SketchUp and then back in AutoCAD it's looking pretty nice so at this point what I did is the first thing that I did is check that well I first copied and closed the DXF file right with control C and pasted it into my drawing with control holding control shift and V so I could paste it a, as a block so I can move it easily to whenever whatever I want so at this point the first thing I wanted to check was that the scale was correct so for this I moved these um, objects or detail over here because I in the previous video we scaled this to the correct size and as you can see the detail coming from the SketchUp was exactly the same size so at this point I didn't need it to scale this detail so but I needed to move it to the correct location so I'm gonna move it from this point over here from the beginning of the storefront all the way up around here this is where the masonry wall and the storefront are connected so now the next steps that I did was pretty much looking for other detail connections using the same resource as I previously showed you and simply connect download using either this second method using the SketchUp uh, trick or using 
the regular PDF and converted it to AutoCAD lines inside AutoCAD. It, the one that I show you in the video one of how to draw wall sections on last week. Anyway, after I used these two tricks or techniques, here is what I have so far. And basically what I did here is I started using the hatch command to hatch some of these areas and make it more interesting. And the way I did it use the way I did it was using the H shortcut, of course, for the hatch command and simply pick my pattern. In this case, this is a steel bean. So this is the hatch that we usually use when cutting through steel. And first I placed this hatch on the correct layer because I wanted it to print very light based on my plot styles. So the color 211 or pink was how it printed very light. And then I used the background to select a background color. In this case, this kind of red. But the trick here is in order to print in color, you need it to pick true color because if we just picked a regular index color like, like let's say yellow for instance and if we try to print this it will print black so but if we change it to true color and it will print now to the yellow color so this is the trick and basically i used the same procedure to hatch all of my um, objects or parts in this wall section. I then added a key plan that was a PDF from uh, my class. And then all I did was get the fade to 50% so you can print lighter. And I add this um, line over here to show where I'm cutting this section or this wall section. So once I did that, I also added a small legend and this is what I have so far. So I added a couple of things like exterior and interior to separate and make them more easily to understand to people and as well as this quick legend that I added it. At this point, I could keep changing and tweaking things here and there to improve my wall sections, but I'm gonna stop right here because it's about 2 a.m. already and I need to go to sleep because I have a class tomorrow to attend. Anyway, I'll see you over here with 10 automation tricks to go over.